वेलकम बैक डिजाइन नोट्स वी हैव ऑल बिन देर स्पेंडिंग आर्स क्रिएटिंग द परफेक्ट डिजाइन फॉर योर प्रोटोटाइप्स कमिंग अप विद मल्टीपल डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ओनली टू फील लाइक समथिंग इज स्टिल मिसिंग बट वॉट इफ आई टोल्ड यू दैट ऑल यू नीड इज एडिंग अ टच ऑफ एनिमेशन एस्पेशली थ्रू माइक्रो इंटरेक्शन विच कुड बी द मिसिंग लिंक इन क्रिएटिंग सक्सेसफुल प्रोडक्ट वेल दैट्स एक्जैक्टली वाई आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो टूडे टूडे वी विल कवर ऑन हाउ यू कैन यूज दिस अमेजिंग प्लग इन कॉल लॉटी फाइल्स फॉर फिगमा टू एलिवेट योर डिजाइन एंड परफॉर्म माइक्रो इंटरेक्शन we will be looking at its two new features first feature is to create vectors using ai prompts or by converting raster to vector and the second one is to transform them into beautiful and impactful lotty animations for your designs but wait before we begin for those who don't know and must be wondering and it what exactly is lotty files well lotty files is a company filled with a bunch of amazing people who are transforming the motion industry with a tiny but a mighty file format called lotty A lotty is a JSON based animation file format that allows you to create high quality animation because it's vector based you can scale it with any pixelization making it perfect for websites iOS Android and much more plus you can also add interactivity to create a much more engaging and memorable UI UX experience despite its capabilities its small file size allows for faster loading speeds and if you want to go even smaller you can opt for dot lotty file a whole new file format which is even stronger and even smaller now that you know a bit more about lotty files and lotty let me show you how to animate with lotty files for figma the basics of this tool are very simple if you are familiar with prototyping with figma you can use the same technique to create a simple animation let me show you how to create a simple animation with just these two frames okay so now what you're going to do is i am going to show you a simple way how you can use lotty files for figma uh, for uh, minor interactions and slight animations uh, so we have two frames right here uh these two frames i've created this um and added two rounded boxes with this circle right here and duplicated the circle and added it right here of course making it yellow and adding a cut to it by adding one more object slightly left to it cause making it look like a moon so basically i know now it's pretty obvious that this is we are trying to show a sun and a moon and this is like a button animation when you click on it or when you hover over it it slides and turns into a moon so simply we're going to select both of our frames make sure to select the entire frame and not just the objects go to plugin go to lotty files uh, for figma plugin this uh, pop up box will open and you simply you just need to export lotty or you can even select uh, the prototype file which you have i would just because since i have selected both the frames i'll just click on export lotty and just like that we have our animation ready you can um, increase the speed to 2x or even 0.5x i think 0.5x is pretty much exactly how i wanted to and as you can see the background is also removed there is no background i can directly save this to workspace or export this as a lotty file which i can further use on the website anywhere as smoothly as you can see how it is right here okay i am sure by now you are aware of lotty's capabilities when it comes to animation in figma but it gets better from here let us now cover their new prompt to vector tool where you can generate any logo design or any vector file on the lotty files for figma plugin this tool uses machine learning to produce creative vectors based on the prompts you provide so let's go crazy and generate a fun logo using this prompt okay so we are going to do right click and open our plugin which we have uh, lotty files for figma plugin after this we'll go to tools we have all our three tools right here for this one we are doing the ai prompt to vector tool uh, and then we have this box open here you can describe whatever image or vector you want to generate you can even generate a logo or anything you like and it will generate a proper um text to an actual vector image so let me quickly do that um let's say we do something like cat on a um, yellow hat i don't know something pretty random let's see how, how it generates oh wow this is this is nice okay now let's insert this as an svg okay and just like that we have our cat <laughs> which has a hat and interestingly the hat also has a cat shape um, i mean this is pretty interesting we will close this off and then here we have our uh, vector ready which is inside a frame and we generated this with just typing a few words there are a few places where these extra shapes have come we can just fix it by removing this and yeah we have created our vector 
and pretty much you can use this for anything you want any project you want or you can be more creative than me and uh, just try out this ai tool and uh, try creating as many vectors and as many prompts as you can you can be much more creative than me and try creating any more uh, prompts or any other vectors any cool thing you like uh, i'm pretty much happy with this and we are going to work with this now as we saw in the start lottie files makes animation super fun and easy let me show you how to animate the vector we just created okay so now let me show you how we can quickly animate uh, this vector we just generated we will uh, take this entire frame okay so what i did um i actually um wanted to play around with the emotions of the cat so i increased the eyes and i like zoom in zoom out like it's, it's as if like you know how cat sees you um in a very like sly very very cunning way so this is how the cat will sort of see you it's just a small fun interactions and uh, simply i'll uh, do it again i just selected all these three frames right click plugin open lottie files for figma plugin and you have this export to lottie and you just uh, select an export to Lottie and just like that you have this animation which you can use it anywhere for any website any, even in any presentation or even a start of a presentation you can you are allowed to use it amazing right now you can use this production ready Lottie animation instantly in your app website even while presenting it to clients these small animations and minor interactions just adds a lot more to your design it makes it live and very much appealing to your clients now before you close YouTube and start using Lottie files plugin yourself i have one more interesting tool for you rastore to vector we have all had clients send us images of jpegs and pngs which they want us to integrate in a particular design and you can't enlarge them because they blur out so you have to digitize them which isn't easy with detailed logos and it a lot of time consuming. The raster to vector tool fixes this by converting the image into a vector in seconds. Let me quickly show you how it's done. And for a second tool, we have raster to vector converter. This is an image one of my clients sent me. It is, I would not lie, it is pretty good quality, but the problem is I don't want this regular color of the waffle. The brand has this pink theme going on. So I want to change the color of this waffle. And then let's say the waffle also has different flavors. There is like chocolate waffle, um, I don't know, <laughs> uh, red velvet waffle so it should be editable and of course it's not because um, I mean the client did not have an open file for it and he sent me a PNG file for it so not a problem we will go to our plugins and open Lottie files of Figma and if you remember the toolbar here we will click on raster to vector here we have the tool raster to vector uh, we we just need to simply select this image right here we can even select the layer uh, from our layer panel and now we will simply click on convert and wait for it to convert this PNG which my client sent which is I cannot edit at all and it will convert that into a vector file which we are able to edit we can even animate it we can do whatever we want with it okay and just like that our vector file is now ready I can insert it as an SVG but this time I will animate it let's see how powerful Lottie files is to simply uh, have an animation so there are uh, simple plugins which I can have uh, these are like very very quick fun animations which I can have move in move out and many many much more more i can obviously reduce the speed of it i'll stick to 0.5 and something like this is pretty nice um, i found this fade in animation which they have i can imagine this being as a loading screen for them because they sell waffles and this can be a nice loading screen when the waffle tab is opening and then just need to simply save this to workspace um i'll save it to annex workspace and you can just like that simply save it to my workspace ready to use it anywhere you want it to oh i also found out after going to workspace you can also change the colors completely these are the generated color palettes uh from them you can choose any color you want also you can ai generate a color palette so i mean that's pretty nice and pretty handy the cool thing is that these can be even transformed into lottie animations you can add them to your figma project create multiple frames and tweak them to create a unique animation with figma to lottie tool or just animate them as a single frame however you like it the best and the best part is that once you are done it's even easier to insert these animations into your projects as lottie file supports multiple platforms from webflow framework wix wordpress and much more 
Oh, also before you click off this video, let me tell you something very cool. You can now master Lottie files for Figma in just under 25 minutes. Yeah, literally 25 minutes. Lottie Files has this awesome free course that you can get certified as the Lottie Files for Figma expert. Definitely check out with the first link in the description and let me know your thoughts on it. Alright, see you later.